Hey guys, and welcome to Smells Like Teen Angst. I'm Sarah, and today we're gonna to talk about the Netflix original series, Wednesday. Wednesday follows the story of a young high school aged Wednesday Adams. After an incident where she protects Pugsley, cause Wednesday always protects Pugsley, she is sent to her parents' alma mater. It is a school for outcasts. While there, this entire series turns into a whodunit murder mystery bonanza. There's just something wrong about this place. Not just because it's a school. I absolutely loved this series. I think that they did such a good job of making something fresh and new and exciting while staying very true to the source material. Jenna Ortega is a fantastic Wednesday Adams. I think that she captures Wednesday's snark and wit and brains and quirks that make Wednesday such a magical, relatable character to a lot of us growing up. She's allergic to color. Oh, wow. What happens to you? I break out into hives and then the flesh peels off my bones. The series gives a ton of nods to the original show and it comes in the form of lines and quips and moments that I found delightful. Wednesday is very much like a Monster High meets Nancy Drew type series that I wasn't expecting. So when it starts becoming like this whodunit murder mystery, along with these mystical creatures, I was all in. And since this is a series about Wednesday at school, we don't get a lot of Morticia, Gomez, Pugsley, her, like, you know, her family. But when they are there, I think that they all do a lovely job. Uncle Fester. I like to travel incognito. Come on, let's roll. These characters are so iconic that I think it's very difficult to take something like this on, but I feel like everyone involved embraced everything that they wanted this to be and ran with it. And you can feel the love of these characters and the series in every frame. Of course, there's gonna be a love triangle, of course, there's going to be girl against girl hate, which I don't always love, but I do like the way that this story unfolded. And I'm so glad that in the end, they don't hate each other anymore because that was so unnecessary. One of my favorite characters in the whole entire series is Wednesday's roommate Enid, played by Emma Myers. She is a not quite fully changed werewolf. And I just think that she is the great juxtaposition for Wednesday's macabre and her bright sunshine and rainbows. Everyone needs a Slytherin and a Hufflepuff in their life, right? Christina Ricci is playing a role in the season as a teacher and I love that she's here. She is my Wednesday and it's nice to see that she's passing the torch to Jenna in a way. I think all of the episodes are paced very well. They're about 45 minutes each and each one builds upon each other. There's no real standalone episodes. Everything is telling the same story and progressing forward. And I appreciate that, that there's no filler. Let's keep that going for season two, if we get a season two. I found the reveal to be exciting and uh, not necessarily predictable, but they did a really good job of throwing a lot of red herrings at you. So when the ending is exposed, you can be pleasantly happy and surprised. I think that Wednesday is absolutely worth a watch. Even if you're hesitant about it, dive in, enjoy this weird world and the wild ride. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm Sarah. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment, let me know what you think about the Wednesday series and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any more angsty videos.